द बिल इज नॉट रिवोक देन वी विल हैव टू प्रोटेस्ट लाइक द फार्मर्स डिड इन डेली एंड वी विल नॉट स्टॉप टिल द बिल इज टेकन बैक one of the biggest complaints and the main reason for 2020's farmers protest was the fear that the farm laws were making way for corporates to take over a similar fear has now emerged in the fishing sector after the central government issued draft guidelines for the deep sea fishing bill fishing board operators and fishermen unions are opposing this bill on the allegation that this is a move to facilitate corporate firms into deep sea fishing yana iniki aalgadal masoda nu onnu nerevendrathu corporate ilukaga oru periya udavi maari the central government wants that the whole of the nation should come under the corporate rule we do not know the reason for this if the government wanted to bring in such a bill they should have consulted the fishermen association and discuss with them they should also tell us if there are any benefits for the fishermen if the bill is not revoked then we will have to protest like the farmers did in delhi and we will not stop till the bill is taken back <laughs> As per the regulation, any person engaging in deep sea fishing should obtain a valid permit from the issuing authority. For boats bigger than 24 meters, the fee costs 5 lakh rupees. For those between 15 to 24 meters, it is 1 lakh rupees, and for boats between 12 to 15 meters, it costs 50,000 rupees. The permit is valid only up to two years. Earlier, fishermen only had to pay a minimal amount, ranging between 50 to 300 rupees, to get their license for these vessels. This spike in prices prevents traditional fishermen to fish in deep seas, making it easier for corporates to make their way in. They have asked the government to reconsider this guideline. They have also asked for the exemption of traditional fishermen from this bill. The government has already sold the government assets available on the land to the corporates. Now they want to do the same with the Indian waters that is surrounding the country. the small fishermen is already very much impacted because of the increase in diesel prices gst and other expenses the fishermen is already on the verge of death and this bill will push them further we condemn the action of the central government as they have interfered in the daily livelihood of the fishermen here are some other demands that fishermen have regarding this bill central and state governments must hold a consultation meeting with fishermen They must reconsider going to foreign countries and selling fish with government permission. Fishermen claim that this will impact foreign exchange. They also question if the government will allow deep sea fishing boats to buy and use duty free diesel in international waters if they are going to other countries to sell the fish. Measures are needed to ensure safety of fishermen who go for deep sea fishing. Government must also devise a rehabilitation plan for those affected due to natural calamities while fishing. They have also demanded for an explanation of what fishermen would gain if they pay the government for fishing in the deep sea. All in all, fishermen are very unhappy with the proposed guidelines, and they have requested that the central government withdraw this law or at least make the suggested changes. Central government had issued draft guidelines to introduce the deep sea fishing bill to regulate fishing activities beyond the country's exclusive economic zone. The last date for submitting these suggestions on the proposal was August 30, but fishermen claim they received this notification only on the last day. The notification accepts that the livelihood of almost 4 million Indians depends on marine fisheries, but there is a need to regulate the overexploitation of resources and ensure a sustainable use for them. Hence the proposed guidelines. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to Mirror Now.